hoo, hoo. Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go. Okay. He read the liner cards. Yeah, he did. He's prepared-ish. Hello, Crackwisians. We hope you had a very successful Black Friday and you didn't buy any weirdo meat or blue pills or anything like that and you didn't overspend. I'm Crackwise Magazine. I hate Magazine. you to be in a down mood. So. <laughs> we got you back up, Kathy Vogel. Here's Fun Bastard Ollie <laughs> and Mookie. Oscar and Mo up front with Joe Bots and he brings it, whatever it may be. Comedian Mike Conley. Hi, everybody. Roll the dice and find out. There you go. <laughs> That's how that works. Let's talk about sleeping. Snoring happens, okay? You probably snore and don't know it, but your partner knows you're snoring. There's a lot of reasons why you may snore. But let's talk about three ways to stop snoring, because everybody needs a good night's sleep. You could use a nasal dilator. I know it sounds painful, but was it? it's basically a nasal strip that you wear right oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen those. Open up your nasal passages and reduce snoring. Reduce snoring, because I know someone that wears a nasal strip, and he still snores. I do. <laughs> I do. Let's, let's own that. I do. <laughs> Another way to stop snoring. You could um, use these things like nasal sprays, antihistamines, a humidifier. It helps people with allergies. That's why you snore because you need to breathe. Right there. They reduce nasal inflammation. Anything else you want to add there? No, I'm, I'm, this sounds like my day. All right. Or night. Right. right. This is my night. And another thing to help you stop snoring, don't sleep on your back. And I know this sounds weird, but if you sew a tennis ball into a, a, a sleep shirt, when you go to roll over on your back, obviously you'll be like, ah, and then you'll roll back on your side because you don't usually snore when you're on your side. Okay. All right. So those are some things to help you from not snoring. No, those are traditional ways, but there could be some other ways that we don't know about yet. Right. Here comes Mr. Non-Traditional into your life for a little <laughs> bit, people. <laughs> First of all, you could take like a GoPro, you know? Yeah. The ones you wear in your head. Yeah. Yeah. And instead of a camera. Uh huh. You have a little habanero pepper that hangs down on the string. <laughs> what? And then when you inhale the snore, that thing goes in there. <laughs> About the third time, you're sitting in the water in the bathroom because <laughs> things are hurting on the other end. Ooh, so ooh, you can ooh. do the GoPro habanero, Jesus Christ, I burned my butt type of fix to it. <laughs> the pain. I could just feel the... Second of all, especially married couples, the snorer should sleep on their stomach. Okay. Ooh, because ooh, if they ooh. snored, they would snore into the pillow. <laughs> now, and if that doesn't work, and they still would want to sleep on their back, then the non-snorer can still take the pillow <laughs> and make them snore into the pillow. <laughs> wow. And finally. Yeah, yes. Much, much along the lines you mentioned about sleeping on your back. Uh -huh. And this advice comes from comedian Kathy Dice, friend of mine, love you dear, we need to work again soon. She says men snore when they're sleeping on their back because Things fall over their butthole and, and it creates a vapor <laughs> line. What? Ooh, so ooh, ooh. I told her I, that's just nuts, but that's what she said <laughs> happens. So, right, Kathy? Kathy knows. She knows exactly what I'm talking about on this one. So, what you need to do is, you know, they got banana hangers for the kitchen. You need to get, you yeah. need to get like a cashew catcher or something to hold the fellows to the side, or maybe a pistachio pouch. I don't know. It depends on what you're working with. And something just to keep them out of the way so, you know, you're not vapor, creating vapor lock. So dudes are natural nutcrackers. You yeah, guys essentially. Because the things go, and then it hits them, and then, and then you, it, it, and then there's only, yeah. That's ridiculous. I, well, <laughs> Kathy and I don't think so, right? Okay. You know some dude's going to use duct tape, and that's well, going to be what? an emergency. I did not tell him to use no, duct tape. No, but you know. I said he needed to Our find friends in Kenmore as... will. <laughs> duct tape fix everything. Well, they can't, they can't go outside and peel their siding off just to take care of their snoring problem. That's really a thing. I didn't think that was a thing, but that's a thing. Really? That's a thing? That's not a thing. That's a thing? Vapor lock. Wow. Reach out to her and ask her. She'll tell you.
drink recipe of the week at the bottom of the page. I can't even go on. Um, we're Conley. Won't be vapor locking next. No, absolutely. Because he knows things. Right. And, and like us on social media and our website's crackwisemag.com. <laughs> Wow. Thanks, everybody. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Today's episode of Kaga's Corner is brought to you by the new anti-snoring treat called Snores. Like s'mores? That's like s'mores. You have a you have a person sleeping, and then you have some graham crackers and some chocolate and some marshmallow, and then you don't snore anymore because you've had a nice, lovely treat. That's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was What? You just have to watch out for the fire. I'm gonna have to call BS on that one, kids. Snores, uh, everybody. Snores. Eat the treat. <laughs> I think he just wants snores.